In this video, I want to talk about finding your own voice. I remember when I created my first vlog and I'll link to it here. Finding your own unique voice and just being unapologetically yourself, that is really something amazing. And it is really amazing when you come across people that have developed their own technique, their own style, uh, their own method of doing something. The first one that actually comes to mind is, is Travis Barker, who's you know the drummer of Blink-182 and he drums for various other bands. But if you listen to a song and you, you start hearing the way he drums, he's definitely developed his own style. This obviously also applies to singers and musicians in general, also songwriters, how they write their songs, uh, filmmakers, directors. The same thing applies to writing, authors. At the end of the day, it's all about finding your own voice and for that voice to be authentically yours. Because generally when we start out, we tend to mimic those that inspire us. And I know when I started writing and performing music, I was heavily inspired by American bands. So the result was that I used to sing in an American accent. And it definitely wasn't my true voice. The other example I wanted to bring up was back when I was playing music and I was really involved in the music scene, one of my favorite bands was New World Inside. Most people won't know this band because New World Inside was the predecessor of Folk of Polisikar. And Folk of Polisikar is a very famous Afrikaans band in South Africa. You can look them up and, and check out some of their music. Back then I really looked up to New World Inside because they were also playing punk rock and they were heavily inspired by American rock and punk rock bands. But what happened with New World Inside is, is after the band sort of split up, some of the members created Folk of Polisikar and they started writing and playing Afrikaans punk rock. A shout out to Francois van Koch, who's a friend of mine, he's the lead singer of Folk of Polisikar. And he used to also sing for New World Inside. He also, you know, plays in various other bands these days and has had an amazing music career. But I find it such an interesting case study where you had this band which was inspired by American punk rock and they sang in English. And they found their voice by singing in their own language. They really created something unique. And they, they truly found their own voice. And I find also that, that Francois van Koch, he's found his own voice. And it's, it's really something to aspire to and to look up to as an example whatever it is that we're doing whether it's writing or designing or performing or painting you know we can it's all about finding our own style our own voice our own technique and i, I really find it something so amazing whether even creating videos like this for me it's it's finding my my own style and and how i want to do things and not to try and not not to try and mimic the famous people or the successful people, not to try and be someone else, because truly we, we can't be someone else. We can only really ever be successful if we embrace who we are and, and to, to develop our own authentic voice and to embrace that and to refine that and to be proud of that and to you know, sing from the rooftops and to, to put, it, put it out there and, and to be proud. So, so yeah, it really warms my heart to, to think back and, and I'm, I'm glad I can use a, a local example uh, that's really close to my heart. And um, yeah, it's, it's such an important topic and it's, it's really difficult because most people don't talk about this. You know, you just get exposed to, to really famous, successful people that have mastered their own craft and art. But mimicking them is not good enough. You know, we need to give ourselves the space and the time to develop ourselves and to find our true authentic self and to yeah put that out there and not to be ashamed that what we're going to do is different right what you're going to create is going to be unique and that we need to celebrate and embrace and never have that little voice in our head tell us that you know it's not as good as x or it's it's not as you know flashy as y or it's it's not good enough because it's not what i'm seeing on youtube or on tv or in magazines or you know that also comes down to sort of, I guess, our, our personal presentation and appearance and how we feel about ourselves. It's, it's just to be, to grow into our own authentic selves and to, to be, you know, to celebrate that and to develop that further. I really enjoy sharing these topics. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or any feedback, leave them in the comments below. Whatever I've mentioned, I'll always leave any relevant links in the description below. So definitely check that out. And um, yeah, I wish you an amazing day. I look forward to chatting to you soon. Cheers.